Hi, I'm Sean Sullivan from Alston & Bird's healthcare team, and this is another Healthy Bite, a quick update on digital health in the law. On December 2nd, 2020, CMS released the 2021 Physician Fee Schedule Final Rule with significant updates to telehealth policy under Medicare for 2021. Many of these were already previewed in the proposed rule, which came out back in August, but there are a few key changes, and many of the policy shifts for 2021 are based on the lessons learned during the COVID-19 public health emergency. So what are some of the biggest takeaways? Well, first, CMS is adding 72 new CPT codes to the approved list of services that are covered by Medicare when provided via telehealth. Except for the temporary codes added for the public health emergency, this is the biggest expansion we've ever seen of telehealth under Medicare in adding to the previous 101 covered services prior to the pandemic. This includes services such as group psychotherapy, prolonged evaluation and management visits, home visits, emergency department visits, nursing facility and hospital discharge day management, and critical care services. CMS also finalized its proposal to allow direct supervision to take place via telehealth, meaning that a physician providing direct supervision who previously would have to be physically present in the same office suite as the clinical staff being supervised can now virtually supervise the service as long as they are available to engage via an interactive audio video technology. This opens up the door for incident two billing for services supervised remotely. Communication technology-based services or CTBS also saw a big expansion in the final rule including extended audio-only virtual check-ins and CTBS that can be provided by non-physician practitioners who typically cannot bill for traditional Medicare telehealth, such as physical therapists, occupational therapists, licensed clinical social workers, and psychologists. What did CMS change from the proposed rule? Well, the biggest shift is under frequency limitations for nursing facility visits conducted via telehealth. Prior to the pandemic, CMS limited telehealth nursing facility visits to once every 30 days, but during the public health emergency that has temporarily been reduced to once every three days, and CMS proposed to make this change permanent. Instead, CMS settled on once every 14 days for telehealth nursing facility visits, which will now become the standard after the expiration of the public health emergency. The unfortunate thing is some of the most significant changes to telehealth policy that the industry wants to see, some of which have been in place on a temporary emergency basis will require congressional action. These include changes such as permitting telehealth to be provided to patients in their homes, making telehealth permanently available outside of rural areas, and expanding the list of authorized telehealth practitioners. There's certainly been some discussion in Congress of permanently expanding the telehealth statute, but as of this recording, nothing has passed yet. I'll keep you posted.